are back on track. Gonna make me a ham radio video. Okay. Uh, gotta get some gas and coffee first. Alright, so we are... We're gonna go get coffee first, and it is Thanksgiving Day. And the reason I say that is because... I have not been able to make a video lately. I started a new job. I don't work from home anymore. Uh, the job is very demanding. Um, it, it's dark when I get home, so making ham radio videos very difficult now, uh, especially because of my job. It takes a lot of energy out of me. So I say it's Thanksgiving Day. I have some free time. I can't believe it. It's amazing. We didn't go see uh, any family this year. We're just hanging out at our house. Uh, it had to do with uh, my wife has to work on Friday. She can't get off every year. She can only get off every other year. They trade off. Uh, people at her work trade off. And this is your, her year to work, so we are stuck at home. It's kind of good, though. It's kind of good because uh, here I am. I'll make a video. All right, it's about 12 o'clock. Uh, I'm going to spend a couple hours making this video, and then, then we're all going to cook our big turkey meal. Definitely tell it's fallout. It actually is way too hot for this hat. I thought it was gonna be all cold and it's actually really nice. You know that's the good news is there's no mosquitoes. Uh, you're probably gonna get tired of me saying that over and over but I'm so happy that the mosquitoes are dead because I am mosquito food. Uh, so it's probably about 55 degrees out. It's cool but it, I love it. I really like that cool crisp November air and I love the colors of the trees I like it where it's cool but not cold super cold and I hate the wind but it's not windy so we're all good all right got my large coffee and it's time to go it's kind of weird not making a video for so long and not using a ham radio for so long I kind of forgot I kind of forgot how to do it <laughs> you kind of get it in a rhythm and a pattern you know making videos and using your radio system and then you quit for a while and then all of a sudden you're like oh my god I forgot I kind of forgot how to do this I couldn't do it from memory I'd have to kind of fumble around okay on the ride I'm gonna talk a little bit about YouTube and what's really funny um, I started getting you know over time for whatever reason you get more and more subscribers now, I was going to talk about subscribers actually don't matter that much if you're a YouTuber because even if you, I have like 1,100 subscribers and yet I put out a video that I know no one's going to really watch, you know, it's just kind of a little, here you go, just for the heck of it, and it only gets 50 views. Well, if I have 1,100 subscribers, why does it only get 50 views? And that's fine. I don't care. I'm just saying... Your subscriber count doesn't really matter that much. You still have to make good videos that the people want to watch. Just because you have subscribers doesn't mean they're all going to watch your video. So, anyway, as I was going to say, something very uh, interesting about YouTube, the more subscribers you get, the more hate comments you get. So when I started getting in, the, in a, over five or 600, I started to get more and more nasty comments. So. Um, again, I don't care. I read it. As soon as I detect that it's a nasty, I usually write something nasty back. And then I uh, go and I delete that person. <laughs> but it's just funny. Um, when I hit a thousand subscribers, just all, I mean, not just ham radio people. I'm talking about all kinds of videos that I've made. I get, it's probably uh, 30, 40 percent nasty comments. Just people being mean for no reason. But then again, I still get really good comments too. It's funny, I made this uh, computer video where I help people, and people love that video. Every time they watch it, they say, thank you, thank you so much, thank you, it's really nice. And then some other videos I made, I made this one about this Home Depot flooring disaster, and it's funny, I'm, I get nasty comments on that video, but guess what? I haven't even owned, I sold that house a year and a half ago. I don't even own that house anymore. People are telling me how stupid I am and how bad I am to, for using Home Depot for my flooring. And and I'm like, you know, it's a video that I made like three or four years ago and I don't even live there anymore. It's kind of funny how people think 
just because there's a video there, they think it's 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 fresh. You know, it's not necessarily fresh. Very important stuff. So anyway, uh, the reason I'm able to go out today is because it's Thanksgiving, and that means I don't have work, and that means I actually have some free time. It's crazy. Uh, I mean, believe me, if I could, I would make ham radio videos. I would make a video per day if I could. Anyway, I brought some ham radio equipment. I'm going to show you uh, some of my camera equipment, too, because i got two cameras. I'll use one to show the other and the other to show the first one. That'll be interesting. I'm going to go to a park that I go to all the time. I'm gonna. This is kind of a refresher for me because I haven't done this in so long. And yeah, stick around if you want. Uh, it was cold earlier, but it's actually really nice out. I mean, it's it's got a crisp feel to the air, but I love it. It's really nice. Okay, I'm here at the park that I usually come to. This is the uh, lake. There's like a lake here and then a big hill out there. I've been here several times. <clears throat> but what I wanted to talk to you about was I'm going to go over some of my camera equipment today and not do a full review or anything, but just kind of show you what I use and things that I'm doing and things that I'm interested in and also I'm also going to do the ham radio thing today but I'm going to give you like an insight into the cameras and stuff that I use okay so I've got some exciting news for this channel something really really cool and interesting that I am doing it is Christmas time and I always buy myself something really badass last year I got this camera that I'm using, which is a 4K Sony action cam. It's really little. I'll show it to you in the video later when I can use my other camera. My other camera. Um, I got this 4K camera and it changed everything because this camera is so small and it's really high quality. The 4K, I put it on the best setting. The files are huge. It takes forever <coughs> to upload the files and to manipulate them and uh, uh, render them and all that stuff. It takes forever, but I don't care. I, I like the high quality 4K. show you a little bit of my camera setup. Um, this is one of my new toys. This would be the, oh I forgot the name of it. It's a monopod and I'll post it in the description. I was, uh, I'm used to the Manfrotto uh, monopod and this one has kind of a weird Japanese name. This one had the wider legs on the bottom. Um, as a monopod I like the idea of a wider legs and the, the Manfrotto's legs are like that big so it's not quite big enough. I don't fully trust my camera on this, especially on a slant like this, but anyway, this is my new toy. It's a monopod. It goes up and down. It's easy to grab and go. That's why I like it. It's easy also to put it in the back of the car. Now, um, here's my uh, good camera, I call it. It's big and it's heavy and I don't use it much. I use the one I'm holding right now, which I'll show later. Um, this is the Sony AX100. Anyway, on this tripod, now... I'll be able to use it more because I'll do my radio right here and I'll do my stuff and it will be pointing right there perfectly. This is a Rode video mic. Um, the dead cat on top makes the uh, reduces the wind noise. It's a shotgun mic, so you tend to hear better um, when you know if you're pointing that way with it. Anyway, okay, this is a Manfrotto head, very expensive. Uh, it's a fluid head, so you notice how smooth it is. It's not like a crappy one, and it goes left and right. It pans and tilts uh, smoothly. I don't have it set 
right right now for that. I have it tight so it's kind of shaking around but it's really smooth. So I'm going to be working these shots, more of these shots into my videos just to make them more interesting and more more motion and panning and tilting and stuff. You know, it might get a little annoying but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> okay, so I've got the pack tenna. I decided to go with this because it's I, I'm familiar with it and I don't have that much time. I got to go back and eat dinner and all. So I wedged this in here, pack tenna to the wire. The wire goes all the way out to my hoisted uh, twine and it's hooked here. I'm just going to pull the other end and pull it up. I actually spent way too much time on this. I had to throw it. I was trying to aim too high and I had to throw it several times. So anyway, now I hoist the antenna up. So, quick recap, this is going up. Now the advantage to doing it the way I did is that all my wires are, are where I'm at and no one can trip over them over there. If I were to hook my wire over there and hoist it up the other way, it would be out there somewhere, the hanging, <coughs> the hanging twine. But this way, um, I took the bag off and it's actually this wire, hard to see, I know. This wire is up into that tree and then the twine I used to hoist it with comes right back down and it's just wrapped around there. So anyone walks by, which they already have by the way, they won't step on it. But you think that would never happen, but it, it happens almost every single time. All right, and my bean bag is off. <clears throat> Still don't need it. All set up. Hit tune. Tuning is perfect. It's been so long, it's been like four months since I have done CW, I'm a little afraid I'll get caught into a conversation that I'm not ready for. Name, rank, and serial number, that's all you gotta worry about, right? Let's just listen. I'm going to go ahead and say I do not like this paddle. It was very expensive. The one that came with that. This right now is sticking. See how there's a click here? This one doesn't move at all. I'm having a lot of kind of technical problems and not a lot of confidence because I'm a little, I'm so rusty. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to make a contact today, but I am going to go ahead and say I do not like this paddle here. Now it comes with this little tool, but that's kind of the problem is you got to take the tool out to fix it. Ugh. <clears throat> Maybe I should keep it tight. It is a beautiful day, and I'm not being attacked by mosquitoes. This needs to be loosened or something. Maybe underneath.
there. At least the tools right here, I mean, you'd be really screwed if you didn't have that. And you gotta always put it back. I still don't like it though. I, I wanna get the Begali Traveler, but I have decided to spend my money elsewhere, apparently, this Christmas. All right, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna call CQ and just see what happens. I'm a little afraid I'm gonna get behind or something. But let's see what happens. I have to figure out the speed. I hear somebody but it is so faint and it fades in and out that I don't I don't want to I'm afraid to call him I can't get him I can't hear him well enough I did a da 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 da, -da and he came back but I just can't get him
kind of messing around on 40 meters. <clears throat> Hearing some noise on 7037. It's pretty quiet, though. It's pretty quiet out there. <clears throat> 